amazing because this only happens twice a year, but it's almost like people have the same exact setup in the same exact spots. Like that guy's there every year and it's the same exact spot. I won't say it's the same stuff, but more than likely probably does. It just it's weird how people set in the same areas for every show. I got one one shirt for five bucks. I got the what I thought was the best one there was the team one. I don't know if these team shirts are coming back around or what, but I know uh, I have two or three. But having all the face on there is definitely a plus. I don't like it. 
See how much he wants for this piece. Uh, yeah, let's check if it's chipped. Yeah, more important questions. I don't have to worry about the dish. I heard a lid. Eh, no, it's chipped right here. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. I can put it on a table though, so it makes it look like someone else wants it. I'll put it right here. Let's see if there's anything else in here. My friend uh, Mike from the flea market used to he sets up, he used to set across me. Always asked me about these. I don't know if I don't know if they were. So it should be South 22nd Street, but it's South 20 25th Street. However you pronounce that. Or Braceway. I don't find these that often. Very interesting way of doing it.
too. I don't know. It's, it's You listen to a lot of engines here. This I think is kind of cool for two dollars. It's a Hazel Atlas Mason car. It'd be a lot cooler if it was blue, but I didn't like that for two bucks. If you're into this kind of stuff, you're curious about the prices, $120 for the car loader. Add motor, $75 for the wheel horse. It's kind of interesting, you don't see a lot of GameCube stuff. Featuring hit songs by Jessica Simpson. That screams 2000s. boards that I can show you. There's one hanging up there, but that's not recently cut. Very cool. That's a very large machine for what it does. Not sure what this is, but it does that. Not exactly sure. It does something. Oh, these things. Corn shower. Two old corn shower. Where's the corn? Oh, there it was. Must have been in there already. Intriguing. Similar to other years, this place is completely packed with cars. I mean, this place goes all the way back to the tree line. 
maybe about our six or seven rows that way. Please get busy. If you want to get here, I would say get here around probably 20 minutes after sunrise. Probably be a great time. That's when everyone is completely unpacked. Um, or you can get here before sunrise and get like the early crowd specials. But if you want to get the early crowd specials, understand not everyone's going to be unpacked. It seems to be one of those kind of flea markets and trade shows where um, people kind of unpack around around sunrise or a little bit after sunrise. All right, so I ended up getting that one shirt. The guy, uh, he was asking 10 bucks a shirt, so I got him down to what, I think five for this. Uh, it was probably the best shirt they had. And I said, it's got the whole team on it. You got Derek Jeter up there, um, Mariana Rivera. So also just walks all over it. But these, um, I don't know what you even call them, casted or cast crew kind of t-shirts. That's the whole, uh, all the faces, all the all the players on it. Fetch a decent amount. Kind of cool shirt there. Um, but yeah, like he was asking 10 bucks a shirt, and they're all like, I don't know, that's about the resale value on them. 15 maybe. I got one Nazareth uh, Speedway, which I talked a little bit about. I went to a rummage sale, and uh, on the way on the way there, you can see the old the gate entrances for all the haulers um, for the place. It was really, really cool. Um, and if you go on Google Maps, you want to find Nazareth Speedway. You can probably see it from above. It looks pretty interesting to see it. You can't see it from the road, so it just looks like trees. You never even know it's back there. And they got this one mason jar, which is a hazel atlas. has this F on it. I thought that was a little bit different. And there's salsa. And it looks like I got to do some, uh, some yard work out here. We got hit by a ton of ton of rain recently uh the whole basement was flooded like always you can see all these leaves are over here that's because all the water that rushed down stopped right there and it carried all the leaves over so it's that time of the year where well you can kind of see it leaves are still falling in fact i'm going to try to catch one oh, 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 oh. got it still got it still got it anyway um yeah leaves are falling everywhere the lake's back. It looks like it's a great day to do some yard cleanup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know there wasn't really a lot of treasure hunting. Tomorrow I'm going back to my normal flea market. There really isn't that much left in the year. Um, not really sure if there will be enough for even to film a video, but if not, it'll probably be a trash picking next episode. Thanks for coming along with another wonderful day with Taco Stacks. Um, it's been an awesome year of treasure hunting. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to check out Jacktown Flea Market, uh, hit the like button, subscribe down below. It's a, great, uh, it's a great flea market to go to. It only happens like two or three times a year as well. So if you're able to get out there, it's pretty cool. Lots of metal, lots of rusty stuff. That's what you're into. Well, other than that, I'm signing off here. Catch you guys next time, next venture. Who knows what we'll get into. Be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.